Welcome back, guys. Um, today I thought I'd take a look at uh, two things, really. Um, this is the new Manjaro, uh, and this is the preview release, the 1606, I believe. I'm going to pull up the uh, I'm going to pull up the website, but. Um, and that is the 1606 first preview. So it's the XFCE, which is their flagship uh, version. And I thought I'd download it. Um, a couple things stand out. One is uh, when, you, when you download, um, it gives you the option of installing through Calamaris or through Thus. My suggestion to you is to install through Calamaris. And the reason I say that is, in Calamaris, it gives you the option not to install Grub. It does not give you that option in Thus. I really appreciate Manjaro doing that because many times, if you set up your machine for dual booting, you have one distribution in control of Grub. And if you have the option of not installing Grub to the new distribution that you're installing, then you are able to boot up to your normal Grub screen after the install, run OS Prober and update Grub, and add Manjaro to the list of available distros at boot makes it a lot easier for dual booting and it stops Manjaro from taking control of your system. Now in my experience the only two distributions that I've had issues with um, has been Manjaro in the past did not give you the option to not install Grub and therefore it took control of your system. Uh, it took control of your grub. It took control of your boot process. That I do not like. Manjaro has now corrected that with Calamaris. So big, big, big kudos to Manjaro. The other distribution that still has not um, corrected it is Linux Lite. Now I love Linux Lite, as you know, and, and Linux Lite is actually controlling the boot process on this particular computer. And I didn't want to disrupt that by installing Manjaro. So I, when I installed Manjaro, I elected not to install Grub. Now, Linux Lite controls the process. I do not have a choice with Linux Lite. They don't give you the option to not install Grub, at least up until 2.8. I, I haven't seen that addition. Now, I've, I've requested it. I, I actually sent a message to Jerry, the developer at Linux Lite, asking him if he would please give users the option to not install Grub. That way they can control their boot process. Now I understand Jerry's reluctance to do that. He is trying to appeal to the user who is coming from Windows and doesn't know a whole lot and so they need that hand-holding. They need that help controlling their dual boot process, especially if they want to dual boot with Windows. Linux Lite does a great job of controlling that process and getting it done without any issues. However, for those of us who prefer to have that control and understand more about uh, Linux and dual booting and things like that, we would like to have that control. So I have requested it. I'm not sure if it'll happen but I have requested it along with the UEFI capability. So I do love Linux Lite. I think it's wonderful. It serves a terrific purpose, but I did request those two additions for the next release, UEFI install and the ability to not install Grub during the, boot pro during the installation. Okay, so enough about that. The, the, the real process, the real purpose of this video, and man, this is the Manjaro 1606 
So you basically know what you're getting. It installs easily. If you use Calamaris, you can eliminate installing Grub. It's wonderful. Um, everything runs. They've got, this is the XFCE, so I reconfigured the uh, whisker menu to put the categories on the left. But as you can see, they've got a little theming of the whisker menu. Wonderful, wonderful job as always. Manjaro does a terrific job. So I'm not here to, this 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 video really isn't isn't uh, to uh, praise Manjaro. It's basically just to go over a couple of things related to the install and then move on to this, the, the real topic of this video, which is how to uh, speed up your update process and your uh, downloading when you're downloading new packages. How to speed that up within Manjaro. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that, um, you know, you, you, you're, you're given a set of mirrors um, based upon your location. Um, it sets up your mirror list for you by country. So if you're installing in the United States, you're going to have those U.S. mirror lists. Sometimes they're not always the fastest. Sometimes you if you prefer to have more control over your mirror list then you have a couple of options you can edit the file which is not the easiest thing in the world to do or you can run a couple of commands through the command line so I just want to go over a couple of things with you now I I have a, a couple of things listed here in mousepad now You've got two options if you want to speed up your mirror mirrors and you want to speed up your updates and your downloads. The first one is sudo space pacman dash mirrors space dash lowercase g. What that does is it automatically it tests all your mirrors uh, for speed. Then it uh, configures the fastest mirrors and rewrites your mirror list for you. So it's transparent. Uh, and if you don't want to do things manually, all you got to do is run this command. Boom. It's going to reconfigure your mirror list for you. The problem with that is it's not always giving you the best mirror list. It's working off the algorithms that uh, hopefully will create a, a nice usable workable mirror list for you uh, but I prefer to use the second command and that is sudo space pacman dash mirrors space dash lowercase i space dash lowercase c space a l l all okay what that does is it ranks your mirrors and then presents you a list that you can select the mirrors that you want to use. It gives you control. It lets you select the mirrors that you want. Now, let's take a look at the process. If I open up a terminal and I copy and paste this command, then we're going to see exactly what happens. It's going to ask for my password. And now it's going to, as you can see, it's going through all of the mirrors by country. And it's ranking them based upon speed, taking into account your internet connection. So it's going to see which ones are fastest. Now, the fastest ones are not always within your own country. And I found that through experience, sometimes the mirrors closer to the source are faster. And so it's helpful to be able to take a look at a list that ranks the mirror list. So when it, as soon as this is finished, it's going to present us with a menu, as you can see. These are our mirrors, and these are our speeds. Now you can see, the lower the better. So 0.20, I have one in the United States, 
But I also have one in the UK. I have another one here in the United States that's coming in at 0.4. So if I scroll through next page, I can see I've got one in Costa Rica that's really fast. I've got another one in the UK. If I go to next page, I've got a fast one in Germany. And if I, if I come down here, look at this. This is the fastest one, and it's, it's near the source. And it's point 0.10. So let's take a look at the next page. Here's another one in Bulgaria. So the fastest are not always the closest. And that's what I'm trying to impress upon with you. Now, if I go back to the original page, and I click on the, I, the mirrors that show the fastest speeds. Just like that. Take a look at the, the shortest time duration. We'll go to the next page. We will take the fastest. Go to the next page. Click on your fastest times and just keep going until you grab all of the lowest times and I'm done so now once I'm done click on show custom list this is my custom mirror list taking into account all of the variables such as internet, my internet connection speed, the uh, proximity to the source. But overall, this is what's gonna work best for me. You can see how fast the speeds are. When I'm satisfied, I click done. Now, the mirror list, as you can see, it generated and saved a new mirror list and a personalized list of mirrors, okay? So now, when I, update my system I'm gonna be doing it with the fastest mirrors possible taking into account all of the variables so if I open up the terminal and if I do a uh, an update of the system it's not going to show much right now because I've already done the update, but you can see how fast it went through the process. Now, if I, if I do an installation, and Cody normally takes a little bit of time to install, and it's done. So there's no playing around, there's no uh, getting stuck on a slow mirror, timing out, moving on to the next mirror. You don't have to go through any of that. Everything is faster for downloads and updates. It's a great way of setting up your mirror list. But as I said, there are two ways of doing it. One does it for you. And the second one gives you complete control in, so, in the selection process, selecting the mirrors that will work best for you. So guys, I hope you um, uh, found this to be helpful. I certainly did, and it's, it's, it's done wonders for my uh, download and update speeds. So again, this is Manjaro. For Manjaro, there is no faster way to develop a custom mirror list for your particular situation. So guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel, and I will see you soon. Take care.